Oh, hey, what's up, you two? Okay, uh, we got a little project we're going to be working on today. We're going to find out if you can cook a bag of popcorn in an oven. Well, you can't. I already looked it up. But, what I am doing is, see, my shitty fucking toaster oven. I got a little bag of popcorn in there. I had it on 200 degrees and it sat in there for probably about five minutes. Just so it could like melt the butter. I found out, well I don't own a microwave because microwaves are a government conspiracy. We'll touch more on that later. What I did was I put the bag of popcorn, oh that's hot, just long enough to melt the butter. That way I can put it in this pan here. See, through the magic of television, the two dishes I need, my big popcorn pot, wherever the hell it is, and my skillet are both clean. Imagine that. It's unlike everything else, other dish that I own. But, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the bag of popcorn that also, through the magic of television, the butter is ready to pour. Oh yeah, there's the pot, the pan, the pot thing, whatever, that I used. Ow. Man, I fucking balance the side line, but... Set it right on the handle of the fucking door. There we go, that's a little better. Hell yeah, I like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, take the lid off the pot, try and find somewhere clean to put, okay, there's nowhere clean, so we're gonna put it upside down to where it balances perfectly on the handle, and oh, look at that, it's balancing. Ah. Okay, uh, we're gonna find some scissors, but we don't have any scissors nearby and I don't feel like looking for them so we're just gonna rip this bitch open. Ba bam. Alright, we got that done. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. What we do is pour that in there. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. Got milk all the butter and little pieces of popcorn at the bottom. You like kind of feel them in the bag as you're like pinching the bag, running your fingers down. I suck at cooking, yeah, I totally suck. I don't know if any of y'all have watched that show. It's pretty hilarious. It's on YouTube. It's called You Suck at Cooking. Kind of reminds me of what I'm doing right now. But anyways, we about got, yeah, we, we pretty much got it. all the kernels out. And all the oils pretty much drift out. So, get one more little pinch, one more little run. Get the last one. I'm gonna get every little bit of oil out because, oh man, the more buttery, the better. Alright, we just toss that in with the other trash and uh, we put the lid on. Well, actually, no, we're gonna warm this up to fucking high, like number nine. Nine, put it on high. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we want to put the pan on the right burner. That's very important. So we're going to leave that there. Oh no, that's why I took it off. I'm going to let it heat up like hella crazy. I'm going to let it get super hot. And I'm going to put it on there all at once. Because what the thing, what the article I read online was saying was that it, the reason that it doesn't work in an oven is because it's too slow. The reason the microwave does it the best is because it like it superheats the kernels real fast and like it's the moisture inside it like it begins to boil and it explodes and it pops the kernel. See, if you do it in an oven then it heats up way too slow and it evaporates the the water out of the inside of the kernel uh, before it pops. Uh, like there was a comment on there that said like uh, there, there, there was like the, the, the geniuses that posted the actual like scientific comments and I guess it was like one of the first people that commented on it said like, tried it, uh, put it on 400 degrees, uh, the, the bag caught fire and I thought that was hilarious. But anyways, uh, as you can see, yeah, it's, it's kind of starting to glow red. So as soon as that starts getting like fucking fire hot, then we're good. Hey, I think I cleared up a problem over here. Uh, with I, I found out why it was stinking so bad. I had a 
fucking like one of those little things that like the fancy ramen noodles you get in the package. Uh, like you just put the water, uh, like boiling water in there, and it, and it just does its thing. Well, I I only ate a few of them because I hate like, it. It tasted disgusting, and I was like, oh, nasty. So I just sat there on the fucking thing. Well, I, I guess there's been a thing of ramen noodles sitting there for uh, Lord knows how long, like a month or two. So there's like little maggots on there now, and there was like little flies swarming around it. That's what stinked, and I threw that out the back window. With the trash can. Okay, so now as you can see, it's on. It's it's real red now. Yeah. So we put that on there. Ba bam. Cooking with David. And let that sit. See, we're already seeing steam coming out, which that's that's a good thing. And we leave the lid on there. I don't, actually, I don't know if you're supposed to keep the lid on it, but I'm keeping the lid on it. Because, you know, it may be the steam, like the moisture might build on the inside of it. And that'll help the kernels to retain their moisture. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video until the kernels start popping. And it, it, it's going to be funny because I'm just, like, going from this to, ah, they're exploding. So, stay tuned. It's happening! It's happening! Uh, I kind of got to it too slow, like, I was like, the camera wouldn't turn on, but yeah, that's why I kept the lid on, so fucking popcorn wouldn't be exploding all over the house. Hell yeah, dude! I made popcorn! I think, we're, I think, I think just about all of them popped. It's starting to slow down. Still hear a few in there. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Yo, I bet that gets the kernels like perfect. Now I won't have to worry about like a whole ton of burnt popcorn. Wow, that popped them like way faster than a microwave. And plus, see like that's the reason I was saying about the microwaves. It's because uh, microwaves alter the molecular structure of your food and it's way more likely to give you cancer if you eat out of a microwave regularly. So that's like, I used to have one and when I was living with my dad, it was just like, that's all I could eat out of was a microwave. And that, that's all that was really available to me was just microwave food. And it, it started getting to the point where I was eating, I, I ate out of a microwave for like every meal for like several months. And it started getting to the point where I was just getting really sick every time I ate out of the microwave. And so now I don't even own a microwave. All I own is an oven and a toaster oven. And the toaster oven is fucking filthy. I need to clean that thing. And, but I, I love it. it, it I love having, being able to just bake food like way more efficiently because I'm just one person, you know. I don't have like just people living here, you know. I don't, I don't have like a, a wife or anything or a girlfriend. So one, just the, it's small enough to cook meals for me. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this popcorn out of the pan. It looks fucking beautiful and woo! Oh, that smells good. Ooh, a little bit of salt. Oh shit! I better fucking get it out of that pan real quick. That's probably like the bottom of it's burning. Real quick. There we go. No, actually, it turned out not so bad. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera like this, guys. I had to dump out the skillet on the thing. But yeah, that, that didn't turn out too bad at all. Well, yeah, let's try a piece. Yeah. Definitely would have been better out of a, 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 a microwave. Well, how much butter is on it? Pop secret. Oh wait, I should, probably shouldn't be showing the label. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any specification as to how much, but usually it'd say like extra butter or something, but I'm not seeing anything like that. So yeah, I guess it's just normal butter or something. I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt on that hoe. And I'll get back with you guys shortly when I'm eating popcorn. Okay guys. This popcorn is fucking awesome. Mm. Take some salt. That's all I needed. Just a, pr a pretty good amount. Like, not too much, but not too little. Just, you know, kind of get your hand in there and kind of, like, kind of pick it up and, like, scoop it around as you're put, pouring the salt in there and kind of give it a good mix. Because it's lightly oiled, so the salt will actually stick to it. See, when I, I have an air popper, but I don't really like to use it so much because like it makes the popcorn super dry when it pops. 
Like, you can pour as much salt on you want as it, but like none of the salt will stick to it. So like it's still just eating like plain popcorn. You have like a big pile of salt at the bottom. If anyone knows how to use an air popper to, uh, to get popcorn where that will actually like seasonings will actually stick to it, uh, please let me know because I'm a fucking popcorn enthusiast. <laughs> I love popcorn. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching me teach you guys how to cook microwave popcorn on a stove. It's actually really, really good. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Catch you on the flip side.